What's up everybody, it's the Minute Admin here and in this video I'll be talking about certifications in the Salesforce ecosystem and how to get those certifications and what certifications you need for specific job titles. So let's get started. To start off, we're going to be at trailhead.salesforce.com and we're going to be on the home page here. So let's go ahead and hover over credentials here under skill up for the future and click credentials. And under Earn Resume Worthy Credentials, we're going to scroll down a little bit more to the Explore Certifications section here. And we can see that we can get certifications as a Salesforce Admin, a Salesforce Developer, a Salesforce Technical Architect, a Salesforce Marketer, and a Salesforce Consultant. So let's start to look at the different certifications we can get within these five different areas. So let's scroll down a little bit more and click Explore Other Certifications. And we can choose our role here. So under Salesforce Administrator, we can see our administrator credentials here. So we have five different credentials here. One being the Administrator Certification Credential, the Advanced Administrator Credential, CPQ Specialist, Marketing Cloud Administrator, and Platform App Builder. Let's go over to Salesforce Architect here. Under Salesforce Architect Credentials, we have Technical Architect, Application Architect, System Architect, and Heroku Architecture Designer. Let's go to Salesforce Developer Credentials. We have the Platform App Builder Credential, the Platform Developer 1, Platform Developer 2, B2C Commerce Developer, and Marketing Cloud Developer Credentials. Let's go to Salesforce Marketers. Under Salesforce Marketer Credentials, we have Marketing Cloud Administrator, Marketing Cloud Consultant, Marketing Cloud Developer, Marketing Cloud Email Specialist, Pardot Consultant, and Pardot Specialist. Now let's go to Salesforce Consultant Certifications. We have Community Cloud Consultant, Education Cloud Consultant, Einstein Analytics and Discovery Consultant, Field Service Lightning Consultant, Marketing Cloud Consultant, Nonprofit Cloud Consultant, Pardot Consultant, Sales Cloud Consultant, and Service Cloud Consultant. So those are the different certifications that we can see right here. As we can see, that's a lot of credentials here. So what that says right there is that there are a ton of different job opportunities with these different credentials in different industries and with different companies. So inside of the different industries that you can work inside of, you've got a ton of different companies that you can work inside of those different industries in. And then you have a bunch of different job titles and certifications to back up those job titles and careers that you can choose to work in. So that's how you look up your different credentials inside of Trailhead. Let's look up the different credentials that you can get inside of your Web Assessor account after I show you how to register for a Salesforce certification. So to sign up for a Salesforce certification, we need to go to webassessor.com. So let's go there now. So now we're at webassessor.com and you need to create an account on webassessor.com if you have not created one already. If you have, let's look at the different certifications and look at how to sign up for a certification. So I'm going to log in here to webassessor.com. So to sign up for a Salesforce certification, we're going to click on register for an exam. And now let's look at the different exams that we can register for inside of the Web Assessor account that we have. So we have our administrator exams, which have our Salesforce certified admin, Salesforce certified advanced admin. We have our developer exams, which are the Salesforce certified platform developer one, platform developer two, certified B2C commerce developer. We have our consultant exams, which are the Salesforce certified sales cloud consultant, Service Cloud Consultant, Certified Einstein Analytics and Discovery Consultant, Certified Community Cloud Consultant, and all of these other different consultant exams that you can see here. And then we have our architect exams. We have our Certified Data Architecture and Management Designer, Certified B2C Commerce Technical Solution Designer, and all of these other architect exams that you can take here. And then we have our Pardot exams. We have Certified Pardot Consultant, Pardot Specialist. We have Beta exams exams here. We have app builder exams. So we can look at those different exams here. We have marketing cloud exams, the certified marketing cloud email specialist, certified marketing cloud consultant, and a ton of other different marketing cloud exams. We have accreditation exams, Salesforce accredited B2B commerce administrator. We have Salesforce accredited B2B commerce developer, certified practice tests here. 
we also have a CPQ exam, the Salesforce Certified CPQ Specialist, and those are the different Salesforce exams that you're able to take inside of Web Assessor. Now let's look at how to actually register for an exam. So if you want to register for an exam, such as this developer exam, you would come here under developer exam, click the plus button, and then you could choose to do an online proctored exam or an on-site proctored exam. For the online proctored exam, you're gonna have to go through a couple of different steps in order to make sure that you're able to do the test online. So that requires a different video. If you want to see how to sign up and do an online proctored exam, then go ahead and click on the video that should be popping up right about now or click in the description below to look at that video on how to do an online proctored exam. But for now, let's register for an on-site proctored exam. So we're going to register for the Salesforce Certified Platform Developer 1 exam. So we're going to click on-site and we're going to click on register here. And then we're going to be brought to this screen where we're going to need to choose the country, the state, and the city and postal code that we live in. So I'm going to choose United States and California, and then I'm going to choose my city as San Diego here. And then I can put my postal code here if I would like or I can leave that blank and then click search. And then we see that we have three available testing centers. So we're gonna have to choose between these three testing centers in order to take our exam. And luckily, I live near San Diego State University, and what I can do is I can click the check mark right here, and then I can click select. And then we need to select a time to take the exam. So we can see here that the earliest date to take this exam is January 25th. So the next available day is the 25th here. And then we see that we don't have the 26th available, but we do have the 27th through 31st. So if we click a day here, we need to select a time as well. And when we select that time, then we need to come down here and click that you acknowledge the terms and conditions here, and then click select. And when you've selected your date and time, you can either put in a coupon or a voucher code if your company gives you one or if Salesforce gives you one and then submit and then your price will be put down right here. But if you don't have that, then you need to just click check out right here. And then you would put your credit card number, your CVC number, your card type, expiration date and click submit. And once you submit that, you will get an email confirming the date and time that you take your exam. And that is how you find the different Salesforce certifications, and that's how you go ahead and register for your Salesforce certifications. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel, Minute Admin, so you don't miss out on any future Minute Admin videos. Thanks.